Breaking news. The Department of Justice is looking into classified documents found at an office once used by President Biden. About 10 documents dating to his time as vice president were discovered in November at the Penn Biden Center in D.C. A lawyer for President Biden found the material, which should be in the National Archives. It's unclear how sensitive these documents are or their contents. The discovery came three months after the FBI searched former President Trump's Florida home, where 300 such documents were ultimately found, some of them of the highest possible classifications. CBS News correspondent Adriana Diaz has more. Three sources tell CBS News the classified documents were discovered in this building about a mile from the White House at the offices of the Penn Biden Center, a foreign policy research institute set up after President Biden left the vice presidency. According to a source familiar with the matter, the classified documents are small in number and were found in November in a box among unclassified material. Sources would not characterize how sensitive the documents are. Responding to requests from CBS News, the White House counsel said that on November 2nd of last year, before the midterm elections, lawyers for President Biden were cleaning out office space at the center. When they discovered the documents marked classified in a locked closet, they stopped the work and contacted the White House. White House lawyers then reached out to the National Archives, which is responsible for the records. The archives in turn contacted the Department of Justice. Attorney General Merrick Garland then tasked the U.S. attorney in Chicago, John Lausch, a Trump appointee, with determining what is in the documents and how they arrived at the Penn Biden Center. The FBI is also involved in the preliminary inquiry, which a source says is nearing its conclusion. This development comes as the Justice Department is investigating former President Trump's handling of classified documents, with over 300 found at Mar-a-Lago. The FBI seized some of the documents after the former president failed to comply with multiple requests to return them for over a year. President Biden was critical of Trump when he spoke to Scott Pelley in September on 60 Minutes. When you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago, what did you think to yourself, looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. Former federal prosecutor Scott Fredrickson says there are important differences between this Biden inquiry and that involving former President Trump. How significant is it that these documents were self-reported, voluntarily turned over? I think the self-reporting here is probably the single most important part of this situation. Uh, it indicates a lack of intentional conduct. It's completely different from the Mar-a-Lago case, uh, which tends, based on reporting, to indicate there was intentionally uh, activity to take those documents. CBS News correspondent Adriana Diaz joins me now. So, Adriana, we've, in terms of those differences between the discovery in the Biden case and in the Mar-a-Lago case, the difference is not only that the, they were self-reported, um, but it's also uh, there are some other differences in number and and kind, right? That's exactly right, John. The main distinctions here are in size and scope. When you look at the size of documents that were discovered in Mar-a-Lago, we know that there were more than 300 classified documents discovered there. When you're looking at this inquiry into these Biden documents, classified documents from Mr. Biden's time as vice president, we are told that there were roughly 10 classified documents found that were found in a folder in a box full of unclassified documents that were inside a locked closet. Now, when you think about scope, um, what we do know is the documents found at Mar-a-Lago included communication between President Trump and Kim Jong-un, the dictator of North Korea. There were also documents there pertaining to nuclear information of foreign countries. But the big question here, the million-dollar question, is what was the documents, what were the documents found at the Penn Biden Center? What were the nature of those documents? What were the scope of those documents? What were the classification levels of those documents? So that is the main question today. That's right. Three levels of classification, of course, top secret being the most secret of those levels of classification, and that's what was found at Mar-a-Lago. We'll see what was found in the Biden case. So now what happens, what happens next in, in this case? What's the U.S. attorney assigned to the case looking for that could, in fact, prompt an investigation or uh, lead to this being dismissed? 
So the U.S. attorney in Chicago, his review is winding down. He has already provided at least one update to the attorney general, we have been told. Um, but more is to come, and they're wrapping up. And then it'll be up to the attorney general himself to decide whether or not criminal investigations might be required. All right, Adriana Diaz for us in Washington. Thank you, Adriana.